Hello everyone, this is Chuck Fry from the Mind Mapping Software blog. And there's no question that visual thinking is hot these days, thanks to books like Dan Rome's The Back of the Napkin and Dave Gray's Idea Storming, which we've talked about at some length in this blog. But software to create simple, no-nonsense business diagrams has been sometimes pretty hard to find. In many cases, programs like Visio and SmartDraw are overkill for simple process maps and flow diagrams. In this review, I'm going to tell you about a program that I recently came across called Simple Diagrams, which in my estimation is a well-designed software program that you could benefit from. It's based on Adobe's Lightweight Air, which is a Flash-based platform. That means it can run on PC, Mac, or Linux, and it can help you to quickly describe your thoughts or capture a process visually. And what you see here is the simple diagrams interface. Uh, the developer has wisely decided not to weight it down with a ton of features, which makes it pretty simple to use. And what we're going to do here is create a simple diagram. Let's select File New. And if you want to start creating a diagram, you simply start dragging and dropping symbols from this library on the right into the workspace on the left. Before we do that, let's take a look at what's here. Within the basic tab, there are basic uh, flow charting type symbols. This features a neat little slider type menu, which I think is very compact and uh, eminently usable. There are some business symbols meeting and communication related symbols. And as you can see, all of these symbols look very much hand-drawn, which is in keeping with the whole visual thinking movement, which emphasizes doing things by hand and keeping it very simple. So let's create a diagram. I'm going to drag and drop a box into the workspace. As you can see, there are drag handles, so I can easily make things bigger. If I double-click in the box, now I can insert text. Let's call this step one. As you can see, it's left aligned it in the upper corner, but I do have some controls here where I can uh, tell it exactly where to put the text. As you can see, you can even do it above and below. And uh, I guess the one thing that that concerned me a little bit at first is how do I center the text in the symbol? That's actually a two-step process. This gives you kind of the macro level controls and then within the block of text that is how you'd center it. We'll create a second symbol here. And we'll just drag that out to approximately the same size and call that step two. And as you can see, it's kept this uh, center alignment, which is nice. If I want to connect the shapes, I just simply choose the Line tool and drag a line from one symbol to another. It's already created an arrow. As you can see, there are some drag handles at the beginning and the end of it to move the endpoints. One of the things that I found a little bit curious about this is that they don't exactly snap to the, the shapes. Uh, Rather, you can freely position them. What this means is if I was to move my, oops, excuse me, my step two box, the connector doesn't come with it. It just stays in place. Now, there's advantages and disadvantages to that. The biggest disadvantage, unfortunately, is every time I move around symbols in my diagram, I have to move the connectors manually. They don't follow along. However, on the plus side, there is a, uh, a, uh, drag handle in the middle which enables you to add curvature to it and do some pretty sophisticated things. Let's look at what else we can do with our symbols here. We can add annotations to them if I want to put a post-it note on. Let me just, we need to rethink this step. And if I want to resize that, I can do it in the same way as I've done with other symbols. Um, and as you can see, I've got a few other options here. I can add an image, or I can add what looks like a note card. I have some options as far as changing the background color. Um, I like white. Unfortunately, it makes everything else invisible. Let's go back to the dark charcoal gray, but I do have 
grid lines and a few different textures that I can use. But again, I would, I would have to recolor these. Let's just do that. I'll show you how that gets done. There's just a little color palette here. Let's make the border blue. And we'll repeat that with our other symbol and our connector. It's pr really pretty simple. Uh, I give the developer a lot of credit for not weighting this down with a lot of extraneous capabilities, which probably would have made it confusing. If I want to export my diagram, I simply go to this menu. I have the export to PNG option. PNG is a image format that uh, can be viewed in a web browser, but you can also bring it into a program uh, for image editing like uh, fireworks or Photoshop elements or anything along those lines and then convert it to a GIF or JPEG and do resizing and those sorts of things. You can also export it to Basecamp which is a project management tool and Yammer. I'm not that familiar with Yammer. I believe that is a, a, a social sharing type application. So uh, there are two versions of simple diagrams. The free one uh, which has the basic functionality and a $15 paid version which gives you access to five additional symbol libraries and the ability to export your diagrams to these different formats. It also gives you the option to install uh, simple diagrams on up to three computers. Let's take a look at now at what those other symbol libraries look like and I also want to show you some examples of the types of things that people have created with simple diagrams. What I created was very simple, but it's obvious looking at some of the examples on the Simple Diagrams website that people are creating some very sophisticated diagrams with it. Okay, we're back. I have switched over to my Firefox web browser and we're going to take a look at some of the other plugins and some intriguing examples of what's possible with simple diagrams. This is the library plugins page. You can download these plugins and install them into simple diagrams if you want to do some more specialized things. There are five libraries so far and the developer is committed to adding more in the coming months. What we have so far is a farm library, one focused on energy, medical, computers and networks, which I think is a great one because there's IT administrators who want to be able to diagram out their networks. And then the fifth one is actually a variation of, of the basic library that's in the program. If you recall, the, uh, the symbols in the program look very much hand-drawn. And what the developer has done is created what he calls a clean version of the basic library with uh, cleaner lines much more geometric, doesn't look hand-drawn. So let's look at some examples very quickly before we close this review. Here's an example of a user interface for a mobile application. As you can see, there's quite a bit here, fairly sophisticated. There are notes, there are multiple symbols and groupings of symbols. Things can be aligned very nicely. It looks great. Another user of simple diagrams that uh, the developers highlighted on their website uh, has created a very sophisticated diagram that we see here that explains a process for blogging in a corporate environment. And then finally, here is a uh, marketing related diagram. Somebody who does affiliate marketing online has created a diagram that kind of explains the flow of an affiliate marketing product that he or she has created that is very simple and has depicted that visually and added some descriptions to it, uh, creating a very elegant and engaging diagram that communicates very effectively, I think. That's it for this product review. I think Simple Diagrams has a lot of potential. There were a few little quirky things I noticed, like, for example, the uh, sizing of fonts didn't always work as reliably as I'd hoped. And as I previously mentioned, it would be nice to have a snap to capability for connector lines. But uh, this program is less than a year old. It's still more or less in its infancy. 
and I have exchanged several emails with the developer. He is committed to continuing to improve this program, adding more libraries and capabilities to it. Hopefully in that process he doesn't lose the vision for something that is very simple and easy to use for the rest of us, the uh, people who don't need the high-end programs to create simple business diagrams that communicate well and add impact to what you're trying to do. This has been Chuck Fry from the Mind Mapping Software Blog, and I thank you for watching this video.